Hi, my name is Evelyn Yakuleka, a same and um, I recently graduated from from Moves in January 2020. Privileged to be one of the last people to have a graduation. Uh, that's on scientific, and um, I did become finance. Yeah, and uh, that's that's about me. Since the age of 16, 16, 17. I uh, started to work with my mom Evelyn at Evelyn Apartments. Yeah, so we've been running it together. And uh, ever since I finished campus, I've been more, much more, much more involved in it and running it together with her, making decisions together and uh, all that. Because at least from the age of 16 up to when I finished campus, I knew how the business runs basically. So. Actually, I think six months after I graduate, after I finished my last exam, because for us we graduate in January after finishing in May. Like I finished in May, and then six months later, she just rested. She rested for those six months, and it was just me running it because she she called that her holy. She was just like, I've taught you everything. Now this is now just time for me to you know relax. And yeah. So I've done a lot of um, real estate. Should say because, yeah, it's, uh, the Evelyn apartments and you know, they're furnished apartments, so you get to experience a lot of things, a lot of people, and yeah, it, it's um, it was a, it, it's a good thing, it's a, one of those things. I it's one of those things you wake up early in the morning and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. It's I like how to do it, yeah, but aside from that, um. challenging but with every challenge you get to learn a lot of things and I learned a lot and I loved to be challenged yeah I love to be challenged and um, I'll tell you one of the stories because um, it's not just even apartments that she has that you know that I was working with there's also Douglas Villa hostels in Chikoni so of course I'm more involved at uh, even apartments but of course, that doesn't leave Douglas Villa out of the picture. And yeah. if she's not there, I'll step in whenever I can and wherever I can be. So, um, one time, it was, uh, I think, the la one of the last semesters that they had last year. And um, there was a very, very heavy rainfall. It was heavy. It was heavy. And um, one of the one of the sides of the hostel, the the like six and sheets just they were blown off by the wind it was very very heavy mm. so the wind just blew it off and i was dealing with a lot here my mom was my mom had traveled to the u.s and it was just me here yeah it was it was it was one of those challenges i didn't expect to ever get you know one of the challenges we get obviously is um fraud you know tenants mm. who come and then they don't want to pay mm. but this one was a different challenge. My grandfather, um, he was of very good help as well. He was there with me every step of the way, you know. He advised me on where we're going to get the, you know, the other iron sheets and all those other things and the prices and everything. And yeah, I was able to contact the people who could fix it and we fixed it and then help the, the, the students who were affected by it. We, of course, we had them here in our apartments for a week as they fixed that. And yeah, yeah, most of the employees are all the way. But there's, there's a thing called respect. When you respect someone, when you respect someone, they respect you back. My name is Kul Peterson. I work with Evelyn Apartments um, and Douglas Villa Hostels. It is all one company. Um, my experience working with Evelyn has been good. She's a sister, she's loving, she's caring someone very hardworking, someone who's always on time, always there for us, always there to advise. Yeah, uh, the connection between us is really good and uh, I enjoy working with her. She's a hardworking girl, very talented and passionate in whatever she does. Yeah. From the age of 13, I remember, I was 
13 and uh, my mom needed help at the hostel. Mm. So she would take me to the hostel to learn what goes on there. Mm. So my very first job, she used to pay me 10,000 per day. I, I would take her around, you know when the first semester is starting, there's a lot of uh, traffic, there's so many freshers moving in and out, so you need to take them around to look at the room, so that's what I would do. Mm. They're like, hey, take this one to D16 to see C4 or mm. this. And I enjoyed it, you know, I'll do that. And doing that, I got to bond with most of the employees at the hostel because if I was, wasn't in the office with my mom, I was with the employees. Mm. So I would bond, you know, sit and talk and whatnot. And I'd learn from them as well because I was learning what they were doing. Uh, number one, not all of them are my businesses. I am just helping to. to I'm just helping my mama because she can't do it alone. But um, you you build a system, you know. Mm. When when you start a business, it's not you shouldn't think about you. Sh the things you should think about. The first thing you should think about is when I'm not there, mm. what will happen? You understand? So you create a system mm. of. If I'm not there, this person is going to be in charge of this and this and that and that. Okay. My job is to oversee and to make the decisions mm -hmm. that are going to lead us to a different place. Mm -hmm. So, of course, there are systems. There are managers and there are people who do this and that, storekeepers and what, you know, everyone. Um, at the time when the apartments were built, mm -hmm. I was my, my mother's only child. So she named them in the apartments. Um, at the moment, they are furnished apartments, and um, we we offer. It. I mean, daily we have daily rates, weekly rates, monthly rates. You, know, mm. you can come in for just a day, mm. for just a night. Mm. We have people who um, have like, I mean, online exams and whatnot. They just come and they like, I just need this for a day. We have the services for them. We'll be there. I mean. It's a fully furnished apartment, as I told you. So it has Wi-Fi, it has the DSTV, and it has, um, you know, a fully a full kit, like a full kitchen with like equipment. Not a kitchen with your food, but <laughs> kitchen with like, you know, the equipment. You have your cookers there, your your fridge and whatnot. All you have to do is just come with yourself. It's not about how much money you have. It's about how you're thinking. Oh. You know, okay. how you're thinking about where to get to where you want to be what like if you want to save money if you want to save like one like 10 million in a year mm. ask yourself how much am i going to save each day to make that happen you know so just keep feeding your mind with positive things avoid negativity keep feeding your mind with i want to be this in 10 years what am i going to do every day so that i achieve that in 10 years so um you ask me what motivates me to get up in the morning and be the person that i am yes um one of the things that pushes me really mm -hmm. is god it's the most important thing the most important person pushes mm -hmm. me through life i mm -hmm. mean the bible tells us um to trust god in programs to trust god and not lean on our own understanding mm -hmm. that's one of the scriptures that takes me through my day you know we have uh phone lines you can call Mm -hmm. Phone line zero seven seven two four one four five nine two, and then yeah the same Airtel zero seven zero one four one four five nine two, and um, there's Booking dot com there's Airbnb, you can also uh, send us a message on Facebook and uh, Twitter as well, mm -hmm. and yeah I mean those are some of the few ways you can book or you can even just come to one of the locations.